on my way into the city to pick up a hero. I mean a real hero, a dog that's a real hero. Charlie the English Cocker Spaniel is a hero. But this dog that I'm going to pick up, he's a hero too. Look at what I got with me. Jupiter Von Pooper. He saved me from the Sasquatch, didn't you, Jupy? He did. Several times. Me, him, Charlie, and Finn are gonna go to the woods and we're gonna hunt Sasquatch. It's a fact. Jupy, protect me from the Sasquatch. Please protect me. <laughs> protect me, Jupy. <laughs> PTSD from that Sasquatch. I would never go in the woods without a dog and a gun. And if I was going to take any particular breed of dog with me, it would be an English Cocker Spaniel. And I have two of them with me. And little Finn, who's a maniac. Total maniac. He'd, te he'd tear a big foot up. He might weigh 16, 17 pounds. Sasquatch, even the largest of Sasquatch is afraid of the smallest dogs. Jupy's mother got a haircut. She looks 15. Seriously. It's, it's no shit, no exaggeration. If she was an actress, she could try out for parts. Parts like that. Absolutely. You know, if 90210. Right, if they did a 90, a new one, a 90210, a new version of it. She was an actress. She could, she could play the high schooler, a sophomore. Serious, seriously, Jupy, come out here. I'd get, I'd try and get Jupy's mom on video someday, but she's shy, like Finn's mom, or. Micah and Mila's mom, they don't like the camera. They don't. Which is sort of a shame. My, Micah and Mila's mom, mommy, is Jupy's mommy's sister. They look very much alike. They do. Me and Jupy are really excited to get back to Beaver Dams. We just want to get revenge on that set, those Sasquatches. They're filthy beasts. They are filthy. What is it, a bear, a man, an ape, an ape man, bear man? They're filthy, I'll tell you that. Alien, they're alien is what they are, seriously. Uh, all kidding aside, Sasquatch does not live on this planet might be on this planet that's why people are seeing them so they don't die here they do, they don't mate here they they come here and we're gonna find them aren't we jupy he's taking a dump because i asked him to because he's fucking awesome so jupy take a dump before we get on the subway he takes a dump now I gotta find some place to put the dump. There's a trash can. There's one. He's a genius. He is. Somebody's talking about Jupy. They were looking like they wanted to pet him. Don't pet, don't pet Grandmaster Jupiter. You know, Charlie and Jupy are the same breed. The big difference is, is that Charlie's like ten and a half months old. English Cocker Spaniels, heel. They're fast-moving little freaks. Charlie is no exception to the rule. Now, was Jupy a fast-moving little freak when he was younger? Let's ask him. Jupy, were you a fast-moving little freak when you were younger? He said yes, he was. Some of them are uh, faster moving and sort of, sort of more hyper than others. Micah, the English cocker, who's Jupy's cousin, is is hyper he's he's pretty hyper but he will still sit down and relax he's i haven't seen mike in a while he's probably calmed down quite a bit what i'm trying to say is like dogs calm down 
as they get older. Like Jupy's only three, but by the time Charlie's, you know, three years old, he'll be much more compliant and easier to, to handle. But we want, we have, Charlie listens, he's good. Charlie, we, we're taking him in the woods definitely with Jupy. We're going out there, we're gonna confront my fears and get this Sasquatch off my back, so to speak. It's, you know, it's like I wake up every day. I'm in the city, I'm worried about seeing, bumping into a Sasquatch. I see a tall person and it flips me out. I'm like, oh fuck, another Sasquatch problem, you know? A tall woman is the scariest thing for me. Like a real tall, hairy woman. I start thinking Sasquatch. Choopy, place between the legs. Hi, Choopy. What's up, brother? Choopy. He's one of the best actors. He's clearly a better actor than Lassie. Lassie was bullshit. That was a bullshit actor. The only reason why Lassie was famous was because Lassie had that hair. It's the truth. Jupy has the hair and he can act. A lot better than Lassie, Rin Tin Tin, you name it, that dog on Frasier. Jupy is a much better actor than that little terrier. Charlie's a pretty good actor. He is. He's a, good, he's a very good actor. Finn? The only problem with Finn and acting is that Finn won't shut up about Trump. You know, we're trying to shoot a scene and Finn just starts going off on, you know, Trump about how he thinks Trump's going to jail and shit. Where Jupy keeps his political shit out of it. He knows that the acting, it's a job. You know, not, not Finn. Finn just, he'll do, he'll do anything to make sure that, that he don't want Trump to be president. What I'm saying is, he talks about impeachment a lot. Like, a lot. Char Charlie is not a libtard, by the way. Charlie is a, uh, he's a Republican. Well, whatever that party is in Canada, that's where Charlie is. Charlie isn't into um, Justin Trudeau. He told me that. He said he's not really into him, but he also, on the same hand, knows that Justin Trudeau is probably not going to get Canada in a war or say something offensive to allies. You know, I wish we had Justin Trudeau as president. I'd feel a lot safer. So would Charlie. Teaching your dog place between the legs, which we're going to work on with Jupy um, a little bit more, is important. And the reason why it's important, if, if you are in Manhattan and you have a service dog, you need to make sure that the dog goes between the legs and stays out of people's way. It's invaluable. That way your dog's not getting stepped on. You don't want your dog's tail getting stepped on. You don't want them bothering people. It's a perfect place for your dog to be. Remember, training's a lifetime of the dog. Go over all this for the dog's entire life. So we're gonna work place between the legs and we'll also work that with Charlie and um, I don't think we've worked that with Finn so maybe we'll work that with Finn too. I'll, I'll tell you the dog that did just about as good on the train as Jupy did well Finn, Finn's pretty good but Miko, Miko's awesome on the train. I wish Miko was going upstate. If we were taking me, if Miko was with us then uh, Miko would tear the hell out of our Sasquatch. I mean, like, I can, I can tell, I can tell Miko would just tear the Sasquatch up. It's a Japanese breed; they don't screw around. Craving curry powder, and I'm not really quite sure why. So I'll go home, and cook a pork chop, or a couple pork chops, maybe. Why I'm frying them? I'll fry them. I'll throw some curry powder on them. Curry goes with pork pretty well. That'll get rid of this. I, you know, what am I going to do? Go get Indian food? There is an Indian food place. 
that is not too far away. I can walk up there, but I got, I got shit to do. I'm going to do some training videos with the dogs today. I haven't been. I've been doing other stuff. I've been doing, well, I've done a few, but I've been doing a lot of uh, Bigfoot videos, you know, which is important. That's science. That's real, by the way. When, I, when I'm showing you the Bigfoot body parts, that is absolutely real. It is. What do you want me to say? Art imitates life, so sometimes I'll do a video that is imitating life. It might not be real, but when I'm showing you the Bigfoot body parts, that's 100% real. The train stopped. I'm starting to get a little worried. Sasquatch could be in the tunnel. We're in a tunnel, Chimpy. This is I'm so worried, Chupi. What are we gonna do? We're stuck in a tunnel. I'm a little bit calmer now. Chupi told me to calm down. It's scary. I'm worried about the Sasquatch. The New York City subway in the sewers. The really fucking sewers. Sasquatch is in the New York City sewers. It's in the sewers, so Judy, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Judy? What are we gonna do? There have been all kinds of stories about creatures in the subway tunnels in the sewer system of New York City. Chupacabra, or as some people like to call it, Chupacabra. I'm a little worried. It's a, it's a perfect place for a creature to hang out and live. The subways, there's all kinds of, you know, it's like the catacombs down here. It's terrifying reeks of death and urine, mostly urine, a little bit of death, some urine, rats, lots of rats, Chupi heel. Charlie's from Canada, he says that there's all kinds of Sasquatch up there, that's where Jupy's mom's going, Canada, we're a little worried, you know, I don't know if Jupy's mom can handle a Sasquatch. I know Jupy can. British Columbia, that's a, that's a hot spot for Bigfoot activity. It is. Windsor. Everybody knows about the Bigfoot of Windsor, Canada. There's like a tribe of them there. You know, uh, Jupy's mom is, is not giant, I'll tell you that. Jupy, do you think Jupy, do you think your mom will be okay in Canada? Jupy. He says he thinks that she'll be okay because she'll she'll be with Jupy's dad, who is a giant human. He could wrestle a Sasquatch, probably. It's pretty big. You know. I don't know, 7'5 or something. Maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration. 7 foot 4 inches. That's Sasquatch height. He could take him. Chupy, do you think your dad could take a Sasquatch? Chupy said, not without him. That, that, that worries me. They could be out in a cabin. Sasquatch will break your door down, tear out your windows and come in there and eat you. There was the, uh, seriously, this is a true story about a uh, Bigfoot that somehow floated in on a couple logs, like down trees 
floated down on the on the Hudson and ended up this was in the 1800s and ended up down here by Manhattan and they had to get you know boats together and they they killed the Sasquatch because they didn't know what it was they were they were afraid so the settlers killed the Sasquatch and you know we're saying that it was a, a creature from from hell you know more related to Satan and then they took the carcass and they burned it you know it's a true story it happened happened right at, right right in this area it was it was down you know close to lower Manhattan when they when they saw it 